what's going on. I had to take out the temperature sensor to put in the dump valve at the racetrack. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put another bung in and put the temperature sensor back in. Is it just an O2 bung? Huh? Is it just an O2 bung? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was gonna say, did we have that? No, who ordered it? All right, Garrett, you're definitely gonna have to hold this while I can get it tacked in there, but no. she is. Let's see it. Oh yeah. Top was a little tricky. Not yeah. bad. Better every day. No more fucking leaky trains pan. Fucking thing driving me nuts. What else do you gotta do to the race car to get it ready for the race um, in North Carolina? After I glue it on, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trans out and change the stator and the converter. That's really about it. New trans fluid in it since I got it drained. But where is the um, dump valve? I never got to see it because you guys. It's this thing. I got it sitting up here out of my way, mounts to the trans Okay, van. with the crimped like braided lines and stuff? Yep. That's crazy you guys got that done at the track. So what exactly are you doing in the torque converter again? Putting a looser stator in it. Okay. What does the stator do? So the stator is like the fluid gets pushed against the stator and it spins like a turbine. I mean, it is a turbine. Mm -hmm. really. So depending on the pitch of the fin, will basically control you know how fast the converter will lock up. And, okay. You know, it's either going to allow fluid to flow through it or it's going to you know hit more like a wall and really spin it up. So was ours locking up too fast or too slow? Too fast. Too fast. I, I thought that's what it was. Which makes it hard to control. Gotcha. That's why we did the dump valve. That was more of a temporary fix. And now, we loosen the stator. Now we'll be able to use the dump valve much more as a fine tuning. That's awesome. Pretty good. We'll see. If it's not awesome, I'll be doing this again at the track fucking <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully not. That's right. Thirty-seven bolts up there. Yeah, I was gonna say holy shit. Yeah. Okay. I've never seen the inside of a torque converter. So this is the piece we're changing. See what I'm saying? The fins. Mm -hmm. the fluid gets forced against this. So it spins and then it's the coupling unit. able to visibly see a difference between the two? I mean, it's only five degrees, so oh, not really. okay, no. <laughs> Shins are all there. Yeah, I was going to say, they look pretty, uh, pretty identical to the, to the eyeball. Okay, that's it. You can see it. I feel like you can see a difference. I feel like these look more spaced out. Are things are back together nice and easy? Yep. Sorry, a lot of, a lot of lines in a short period of time, but... Pretty cool on racing this week. Oh, you're not going. Sorry, oh, man. Yeah. No, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Oil, we're going to change after test day, right? I was going to change it now. It's Didn't we change it before final day yeah, last time? passes on it. You got any C's on your fucking oh. beard. Matt's getting old and gray. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll, do la we'll do lash and oil. 
We'll probably do lash first, then, then oil. Maybe depends how much time we have. Because Thursday we're testing all day. Yeah. Now be careful with that thing. Don't hurt yourself. at 150 or something on the traction control hard well broke another blower somehow i'm not sure what i'm doing wrong on these things but no one else has issues but me so we got a we're changing the blower pulling the intake manifold off getting all the metal out of our rig there's some of it that was in the intake pipe so that we just did third test Pass. We have one more tonight. I don't know if we'll make it. Maybe we'll see. Well, it is now, I think, not even 40 minutes later. New blowers on, intake manifold is completely cleaned. And all, like all the aluminum out of it, all the cylinders, put the top of the intake manifold back on. We got the plugs out, cleaned everything out there. Matt's tightened a couple bolts left in the blower. We got to put the intake pipe back on and then we'll actually make uh next round which, with probably like an hour to spare to be honest with you matt's over here fucking up my dual tank he already fucked up my trailer he hates when i call him out on this he laid our uh like whatever you call it cornhole boards okay. <laughs> Matt, I'm just letting everyone know. When you got 230 pound dirt jumping around in there like a fucking trampoline. I mean, you're not. You're actually not wrong. So, is so does that mean it's Garrett's fault? Yeah, or is I'm, yes, I'm just thinking of Garrett's fault. It's 100 Garrett's fault again. It's a trend. It is. All right. <laughs> well, in about 15 minutes we'll be ready for fire up, and then we probably won't go back up for another hour. Is my guess. Well, we're still rushing like a NASCAR pit stop. Well, you got to. We do. You wait around all day, like, like moment. we did today, and then I forgot to tech in <laughs> before we go make our first pass. It's just, uh, that's racing. You sit around for eight hours, and then you rush, and then you make one pass that makes about, it takes about three minutes total, and then you sit around again. Is the cable or something up? Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, we did have that bracket like weird and shit. Whoo! Okay. Well, we need to definitely make sure it's not going to do that again. Yeah. Is the spring on there? It didn't come off or nothing? Spring's on there. Everything's. Whoo! I don't need an energy drink now. I'm all right. Huh? So it's running all right. I recorded, the, I recorded the whole fucking thing, too. Yeah. I was quick with the fucking kill switch. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's uh, try that again. I'm going to be, uh, my hand is going to be on the kill switch this whole time. It's, it's on the shut mode right now. I know. No one will be here tomorrow. Whew. Guy, alcohol fucking got to me. I don't know. Maybe the adrenaline opened up my lungs a little bit. Yeah. About to cry. <laughs> Thanks, Don. Thanks. I'd Just testing my rods, you know? I'd, I'd rather it happen here than on the start line. I mean, I, hey, me too. My finger would have been closer to the button, though. But All right, we're good to go. I don't know how long later. Maybe an hour and some change. All right, we're ready to go. 
they just called Pro Stock 632, so we got two or three classes until they call us up. So we probably got 45 minutes to spare. Plus we drained the catch cans, filled it with oil. Our alternator is not charging. Um, so we were testing that. Uh, it has power, which is good, which means the alternator, something happened. Probably got fucked up because, dude, this thing shakes so bad. But DC power uh, is overnighting me another one. Um, they made the one on here. It's obviously not like a normal C6 style alternator. It's like set up for the Pro Charger bracket. So, and dude, it shakes so fucking bad. Last week we found that the power wire that we have on the alternator is broke off. Um, obviously because everything shakes. Um, so we thought like just that was the issue and we put it back on, it's still not charging. So I don't know if maybe when that came off, it arced or something and shorted out the alternator or what happened, but whatever. They're overnighting me a new one, it'll be here tomorrow. Uh, I'll send this one back to get fixed and it'll be my spare. Um, ready to go. left really good and then a little bit out it uh blew the tires off but it left it uh it left really good it felt like the best 60 of the night which they have the app going this weekend so i'll tell you exactly what the 60 was uh 123 not great it must have spun right at the 60 but i mean that is the best 60 of the day but uh they must have spun right at the 60 or something or right right before the 60 or something but we'll uh we got qualifying tomorrow so we'll see what happens there this is our normal boring friday while we wait to run magic practice and wheelies so on fridays they don't run us until like four o'clock and they were an hour ahead of schedule today but then it rained as you can see the clouds it didn't really rain, but it like spit for like an hour. Um, so they just started calling people back up to the lane. So we're bored and hanging out. We've been hanging out since like 9 or 10 a.m. Maybe we'll get a game of cornhole in. Broke something. Is this just, are we just repeating or is are we playing the video or is this a new video? It's practice. Yeah, it's yeah. practice at this point. Yeah, we just, we got so bored today that we figured we were just hitting again. So somehow the blower broke again. So it has to be something that we're doing wrong. Not ideal. It's just not ideal because that's our only spare big blower, which is the 106. I have two of them, but we grenaded both of them this weekend. So I have my old tried and trusty 94, which I fucking put these things through hell and I've never broke a single one. So we're putting this back on. We're allowed to weigh 300 pounds less with this blower, but I don't think the car would work like that. So we're, we took 150 pounds out. We're going to put this blower on it and we're going to try and put something together for Q2. Um, it's a different gear set because we spin this one way faster and differently than we do the big one. The big one is a lot slower. That's like 75, 76,000 RPM. And I think this one's like 86 to 88,000 RPM, something along those lines. Um, that's uh, what we're doing. Not, not an ideal weekend so far. Uh, two blowers and an alternator. Uh, hopefully nothing else happened. So everything we did last night, pulled the intake off, switched the blower, did all that stuff, cleaned everything out. We are now doing again after one pass. 
Um, which sucks because it's like five o'clock now and we sat around all day doing nothing to make one pass and now it broke and now we have to like rush and get it all and do it. But it's uh, how's that thing looking on the underside? Not great. Not not ideal. I'll clean that out. How can I find the dumpster? No, we still can't throw God. Holy Damn. smokes. It ain't that's, lo that's locked up in there. Oh, yeah. God damn. She's locked up. <laughs> Can't get no more. <laughs> um, does this one have the bell on it already? Or yes, is it... it should have everything ready to rock and roll. I think, I was going to say, I think it should. Here, do you want to? Yes, all right. Old, Look at this. Old tried and trusty little baby guy. I love this fucking thing. I, me too. Thing's like six years old. Gives us nothing but fucking reliability. Maybe I'll get crazy putting fluid in it. I don't know. Well, I mean, maybe we should check at least. <laughs> um, Alright. Well, I'm going to clean all the aluminum out of this. Let's go see what the actual intake manifold looks like. Not ideal. What do you think, Don? Better, this is why I wish we could make a pass earlier. Because then we had eight hours to fix it instead of... Play cornhole. Instead of playing cornhole, yeah. Ay, 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 ay. All right, well, that's racing. We're going to swap this blower over. And, uh... Get to it. So for those of you that don't know how a gear drive on a pro tractor works, instead of like, you know, a lower pulley, like on a normal street car, like a balancer pulley and a crank blower pulley and a belt, you know, with obviously X size and X size, it's the same deal inside here, just with gears. And this is how fast you spin the blower and how much boost it makes or whatever. Um, on race car shit, you generally want to spin it around what pro tractor says. So I think they say it on the tag, actually. Um, yeah, so 74,000 RPM. Uh, I don't know what my, the big one is, but it's, it's I think, around the same. But these ones like being overspun. The big ones do not. Um, so I think I was spinning this one like 80,000 RPM. I'd have to do my math again. But either way, I ran this gear set in with that blower for a while in Ultra Street and literally never had an issue. Um, so we're going to have to figure out what we're doing with the big blower maybe just slow it down and see if it lives that way because obviously if it's living then that's better than being fast and breaking every pass so we gotta put this gear set in in there put that back on put this blower on and then finish cleaning out the motor and all that stuff i cleaned that part of the intake we are pulled all the plugs out we cleaned all this stuff up um we're allowed 300 pounds lighter with the big, with the small blower. I don't think the car, we could get the car to work that easily with taking all that weight out. So we took 150 pounds. So these are 25 each. This one is a hundred. And they were really, they were just right here in the back of the car. So we took them out. They're still, I don't know, maybe another 300 pounds um, down below. So we were at 3320 last pass. So we'll be, you know, 150 pounds lighter than that this pass. So we'll see how it works and uh, kind of go from there, but. Oh, race car life is tough sometimes, man. Like, ay, ay, ay. I'll film while you guys work. Oh, look at them chunks. This music probably won't get flagged because no one knows who the fuck it is. I mean, I don't know. Someone might. I, it's just not me. Don, do you know who this is? Do you actually? <laughs> it's not the same guy who was just on a minute ago? Well, this might get flagged then. Get in there. It's never good when we got this out. Valve definitely has some fucking aluminum on it, that's for sure. It's not ideal. There's, there's, a, there's a big piece right there. Is that a washer? There's a 
Uh, it's all beat in there. Okay, we just gotta get that shit off. Yeah, since it's on that side of the valve, we gotta somehow spin the valve around and like try and get that. Oh, off. what's that right there? Yeah. That cylinder ball fucked. That's a cylinder. That's the valve seat. That's where the aluminum is going that's down. That's like in. where it went through, where it was caught. It is a copper, a copper fucking a copper, copper beryllium, beryllium seat. seat. Yeah. Dude, do we have like? Do we have any like Take angry wire. cloth? Take wire. Take well, wire. the problem is, like that big piece is our main issue right there. Holy shit, that's a good fucking. Yo, Amazon, Amazon Prime on the old uh, camera. You don't way. want to. Um, I'm wondering if we could get like an emery cloth in there and like knock it off. Like oh, the other piece, you just. I, I just wonder if air need... would blow well, no, it off. Hold on. Yes, we can try air, but we can also go next door and ask him for a piece of uh, take wire. Thing, take wire. They're not air in there. Right. Oh, they're actually probably up front making a pass right now. Okay, I think so right we got the new blower on and tried firing it up, and it didn't sound very healthy. So we did uh, compression, um, and we did a leak down, and it was blowing out the exhaust. So we figured that some metal was holding the valve open, and that's exactly what it is doing. So we're going to try and get that aluminum off, and then go from there. We'll work for that. Okay, so we cleaned off the shit from the exhaust. Now it's leaking out of the intake. Valve, so we pulled the intake back off, and there's some more metal in the top of here. So we're trying to get it all off, and oh yeah, yeah, go from there. In reality, the motor should come apart, but we're at the racetrack, so this is what we're doing. So unfortunately, we had some problems down there. I don't know how much of it was filmed or talked about, but two pro chargers broke. We got that little spare blower on there. We're gonna send the motor out to get refreshed. Basically, is what happened is we had a blower failure first round of qualifying. Made a half decent pass. It wasn't the best ET, but 151, 152 mile an hour. It wasn't, I mean, it was a fine pass. We were qualified. It was. It wasn't like a ton of pressure. Maybe that was some testing. Broken blower and testing. Okay. Came back, threw on the spare blower. The block, big one, 106. Mm -hmm. Put the spare on, one up around on a qualifying. Second blower fucking made it one pass. Jesus. I think we figured out our issue. Being used to smaller belt driven blowers, you can usually take their recommended speed. And, and pretty much spin them faster in race situations and not, not have an issue. The big gear drives uh, apparently don't like that. So we were only over spinning it by a few hundred RPM, but apparently that's enough from now what we're figuring out talking to some other guys that have been, you know, running the, running the F3 gear drives for a long time. Uh, basically just seems like a lot of guys actually spin them a little slower just to be safe. Second time it broke, we didn't get as lucky with aluminum going into the met motor. Uh, it broke pretty bad. Oh, so man. a lot of bigger chunks got hung up on the valves, causing them to hang open, obviously affecting compression. So without ripping the heads off, we basically spent a good amount of time trying to clean the valves off. Cylinder eight being the worst, and it got to the point where it was already seven o'clock on Friday night. It probably would have took us working completely through the night to pull the heads, clean the valves, all that just to go up into round one of the eliminations on a blower that we have no idea if it's even going to go down the track. Yeah, as far as before play. traction and power and things like that. So we just made a group decision that we were gonna call it a weekend, get home. I'm gonna get it out and apart today. 
We're going to overnight the heads to Frankenstein, have them go through everything, check the valves, check the valve seats. They're going to put a rush on that, try and get them right back to us. And while it's out, we already were planning on going through the bearings for World Cup uh, before we start beating this thing down a quarter mile. So while the motor's out, we're going to run it over to Jersey to Weston Machine Shop and they're going to go through the bottom end. So the goal is to be together and be at the last PDR race in Virginia in two weeks. That's the goal. If not, we'll absolutely be ready, fresh and ready for World Cup. Go out there, race Wild Street, quarter mile, have some fun. Oh my god, look at all the fucking aluminum. Yeah, I can see it. On there. There's one wedged in the valve there. Yeah, see that's the problem. So it was obviously leaking down. It's under pressure immediately. Heads look great though, O-rings look good. Damn, beautiful. She was healthy. Let me get close up though. You can see. An no O-ring in the cylinder head. That's what it means when you hear the term O-ring heads. Yeah. So there's a lip machined in the deck. A lip machined Damn. into the block. And then that just crushes that copper gasket right down in there. See? Hmm. That's why I use the copper. Everything else looks good from what I can see. I hope so. Probably about the wrong with it, but. Shoot, Garrett, gift wrap turd. <laughs> gift wrap turd. One expensive turd. Rod bearings. <coughs> what are these extras? They're older. Um, they are the old ones, yeah. I put. He said they were fine. He's like, if we can get new ones, I'll put new bearings in it. He's like, but if not, I'll just put the old ones back in it. Well, I'll you put them in the trailer so you can fucking eat one something. Yeah. It's funny, I actually had all of them here. Like I had yeah, already I'm had them here. Real race car shits over here, bro. Don't, <laughs> don't worry, fucking worry about that. How many times do you think you've taken apart this car and putting it back together? <laughs> Garrett, I'm not sure. I'm not sure you can put a number on it. At this point, you know, it's just, it's just something I do. I like to think we know each other pretty well. That's for sure. The uh, transport guy, Dave, came in earlier. Told Matt he's the funniest guy on the internet. He told me. <laughs> Matt told me. I don't know if he's that funny, but that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have your moments, but I don't know if I'd say that like a constant funny, you know? It's really coming at you, Matt. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, I'm just honest. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty funny when he just spurts out noises and songs and shit that's pretty funny it's on the odd weird slash funny yeah you know it's on the spectrum is what you're saying yeah you know i think it's funny it's just because it's been like seven years of yeah <laughs> me listening <laughs> it's not often you find someone like that either he's so. a unique character he's like a unicorn you know yeah special needs yeah ed <laughs> <laughs> What is it that you're doing, Frank? Adjusting the valves. Something you don't have to do on a hydraulic roller. Well, essentially, not really. Gotta do every single one of them? Nah, only half of them. <laughs> yeah, just do a few of them. Well, I know if maybe you only had to do the intake ones, or maybe you only need the exhaust ones. Yeah, the intakes, hydraulic roller, the exhaust, the solid roller. I'm fucking with you, Garrett. Yes, you gotta do them all. There's only one cam in this thing, so it's all solid roller. Now you can take the alternator off in about fucking four seconds, too, which is gonna be real sick. Although it's never gonna fail again now that she's on fucking solid mounts. Why did you end up putting a reinforcement bracket? Well, the thing shakes like a motherfucker and it's already broken the cable lug off the battery cable and oh. also the alternator died probably because it's shaking its balls off uh, and it always shakes these bolts loose uh, it broke the belt once so the, I mean the alternator was literally like going like this Jesus it was shaking so bad so shaking up shaking up uh, uh. 